Okay, what we're having a look at today is banjo uh, fittings for the fuel injection pump. All right. uh, this one here is a restrictive one with a small pinhole for the leak back and a filter fitted. Okay, fits on the rear end of the pump. Um, whereas this one I have here is for the uh, inlet of the pump. What I will say is that you need to get the banjos the correct way round. Uh, as I'm showing you, the, they are different, and if you get them the wrong way around, the engine won't start. Well, you get the idea anyway, don't you? Now, we always use copper washers when uh, fitting banjos, and make sure they're new. Okay. Um, this bit here can actually be a little bit awkward to fit and it's quite restrictive but have patience always keep this area clean um, I can't alliterate enough that this there's no protection uh, on this area so it'd be wise to clean down this area before you remove any unions All right. now um, I use a 13mm um, socket sometimes it will be a 8, 17 or 19mm it depends on the union size okay um, I'd advise leaving it loose so when you do actually bleed it up, all right, get the air out of the pipe first. On the rear end, okay, this one has a filter and a small pinhole. Um, fits on the back here. The reason this is restrictive is to actually keep diesel in the fuel pump, all right, and the filter is to stop any um, shit coming back the other, up the other way, okay. It's logical. Um, as with the front, you will always want to put new copper washers on. And what I found um, whilst um, fitting this banjo at the back here, you have to hold the pipe in place, okay? Um, screw it up by hand initially, and then nip it up, all right? Uh, in this case, it's a 17 mil socket, but also hold the union pipe just gently so it doesn't twist the uh, plastic pipe in. All right, so that's nice and secure, okay. A little fitter's trick here, and i um, just showing you because I split the uh, leak back pipe. Um, it's to actually heat the pipe up. This is very sensitive to heat, okay. You can use hot water, or in a stuck in a situation like I am, I'm heating up the plastic pipe just a little bit so I can push the union into place, all right. This will be um, leak proof, believe it or not. Okay, and it's a good way to get yourself out of trouble if you do split a pipe. All right. um, just check these when you do fit everything together that everything is nice and clean. Okay. This is vital to diesel fitting is cleanliness. All right. Anyway, um, I hope this has helped you a little bit. This bit of information that you need.